Welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us this morning as an opportunity to uplift the work of our community-based organizations and to celebrate partnerships that make it possible. I'm Christina Bibler, Director of Economic Development for the City of San Diego. Equity and diversity are important goals of Mayor Todd Gloria and the City Council. And the city is working to ensure that consideration of equity is part of the city operations and decision making from our city budget to our strategic partnerships. Today, we mark the beginning of an important partnership with California Coast Credit Union, which has stepped up as the first company locally has made a financial and systemic commitment to the San Diego Promise Zone. The San Diego Promise Zone is a federal designation that represents some of the city's most culturally rich and ethnically diverse neighborhoods from Barrio Logan to Logan Heights to Southeastern and Encanto. The Promise Zone convenes community-based organizations, government agencies, philanthropic, corporate, and educational institutions with shared goals to address underinvestment in our historically under-resourced communities. With Cal Coast support, the San Diego Promise Zone will be administering one-time capacity building, community outreach, and workforce development micro-grants to support boots on the ground efforts to our community partners. With the goal of expanding their reach in assisting individuals experiencing barriers to opportunity, nine organizations with demonstrated experience in serving the Promise Zone residents will address critical needs across the quality of life for residents from bridging the digital divide to supporting projects that create community leaders. Today, we thank Project New Village, one of our awardees, for welcoming us to the Mount Hope Community Garden. Our hosts work to increase the community's control over its food supply and continue and keeping more community's money within the community. Now, I would like to introduce Council President Sean Elo Rivera to say a few words. Council President. Thank you, Christina. Uh, again, my name is Sean Elo Rivera. Uh, I'm proud to represent uh, this neighborhood, San Diego City Council District 9, and serve as council president. Um, also, thank you, Ms. Moss, as always, uh, for hosting us in your space. Uh, Project New Village continues to gather and organize the community around pathways to food sovereignty. And uh, it is such an important thing that you're doing here. Um, as we always say, planting seeds of hope. Um, so that the community around here can see a path to the liberation um, for our communities um, and out of uh, the, the many negative um, systems and obstacles that have been placed in our community's way. Um, I also want to thank our funders, California Coast Credit Union. As the official financial partner of the City of San Diego, your commitment to serving the underserved and working collaborative, collaboratively with city leaders to deliver what our community needs. Um, I wish all uh, organizations and financial institutions were such good partners to the city. I also want to point out that another f for organization being funded is the San Diego Futures Foundation, which is located in City Council District 9. With CalCo's funding, the Futures Foundation will provide on-site technical assistance at schools, churches, community centers, and partner organizations with instructors ready and available to provide immediate tech support ongoing digital literacy training, and connection with countywide resources, including workforce development. Uh, in my role as council president and prior to being elected, uh, I have lived by the idea and the vision of a community where all people have an opportunity to fulfill their potential and pursue their dreams. And that by committing to placing racial equity and justice at the forefront of our decision making, we can begin to address past harm and level the playing field, both now and in the future. Christina, you mentioned uh, some of the barriers to opportunity that, have, that our communities face. And it's important to recognize those barriers didn't just pop up out of nowhere. They were placed in front of our communities, in front of individuals, families, and communities as a whole as obstacles to fulfilling potential. And those obstacles by being placed there broke an unwritten promise between government and our communities and every member of our of our society that there should be a chance for those who work hard and are uh, talented to fulfill that potential when a promise is made and then broken 
action is required to restore that trust. That's how it works in relationships, and that's how it works between communities and government and institutions that have a track record of breaking promises. So it's actions, not words, that will restore that faith. And one of the ways that government and institutions can act is through funding. So Cal Coast, I appreciate you stepping up to act, um, to demonstrate your commitment to restoring trust and, and building a pathway to, to opportunity, um, to restoring uh, faith and the promise that every person should have an opportunity to reach their potential. Uh, I hope the city of San Diego will follow suit as budget season approaches and invest in our communities in a similar way. Um, thank you again for you all being here today in District 9. And with that, I'm going to introduce my friend and my colleague, Council President Pro Tem Montgomery Stepp, uh, who is, um, I just want to say a couple words about, about I'm not going to, I'm not going to say too much, but what a good partner uh, Council President Pro Tem has been uh, for this neighborhood here in Mount Hope. Uh, the reality is, is the Council President Pro Tem doesn't have to do a damn thing for Mount Hope. She represents the other side of the freeway. But she knows how important this neighborhood is to uh, the community as a whole. And so she's a fantastic partner here in Mountain View, again, a neighborhood that she does not representing yet. And that demonstrates her commitment to opportunity, to safety and justice uh, throughout the city and to all people here in San Diego. Uh, and is a demonstration of what good leadership looks like uh, as a council member and as just a leader in general. So uh, Council President Pro Tem, come on up, do your thing. Thank you so much, Council President, um, for not embarrassing me too much um, and for the introduction. Thank you. I truly appreciate it. Um, thank you so much, Christina, for being here. Um, good morning, everyone. This is a good day. Um, I'm Monica Montgomery Steph, Council President Pro Tem for the City of San Diego and the representative for District 4. Um, it's such a pleasure to be here with you this morning at the Mount Hope Community Garden. Um, I, I want to echo my colleagues' appreciation for Ms. Moss, Ms. Diane Moss, and everything that you do for our community and have done consistently. Um, as a social uh, justice activist, Ms. Moss established Project New Village in 1994 to work with her community, our community, on the issues uh, Southeastern San Diegans face every day. And her work continues to speak for itself. So again, thank you for hosting us. I would also like to thank Cal Coast for your partnership in ensuring that we move in a positive direction by investing in the organizations that m mean the most to the community. Um, and that is so, so many of them. So I'm hoping that we can grow and continue to build capacity um, of our uh, community organizations that have so much impact and less resources. Um, so I'm glad, I'm grateful for this partnership. San Diego is working toward equity in our historically disinvested communities. Um, I have made a personal commitment to myself and a commitment to the community to invest in, in advocating for change through our necessary measures to address inequities. Communities of color and low, in, and low to moderate income communities specifically, um, like those in the Promise Zone, are left behind due to a lack of essential resources. And like the council president said, you know, there was work done to put those barriers up and now we have to work to remove them, and we have to work with an urgency to remove them. Um, the Promise Zone uh, present an opportunity, though, for, for positive impact. And so that's why we're here. I think we all have that vision. I think we all see that, and I'm hopeful to, to grow this partnership. For years, organizations like Project New Village have been doing the work in our under-resourced and disinvested communities. And I'm glad to see that our strategic partnerships prioritize um, our, our districts and these communities in particular, um, our needs as we continue to equitably distribute funding and resources. Today, I'm also happy to see that organizations like District for its own detour, which increases access to education and employment opportunities for girls of color, is part of the investment in building our community. And I'm also proud that Outdoor Outreach, which uses the outdoors to inspire youth and see possibility and opportunity in their lives, will be funded to expand on their work as well. 
Organizations like these help build an ecosystem that focus on, focuses on the environment around our constituents and holistically approaches access while working toward eliminating systemic racism. And I look forward to working with our city staff and uh, California uh, Coast partners to ensure that we hold our, our partnerships accountable uh, on both sides. So you all have to hold us accountable and uh, we'll do the same uh, to reach the goals that we've set forth for each other. And with that, um, I'd like to do one more thing is just thank, um, they are not here, but I have to thank my staff members, um, Tiffany Harrison, Eric Henson, and also Karen Montefort, because they really um, have been involved in the Promise Zone from the very beginning, well, since I took office and uh, saw it as a way to do just this type of investment. So I do want to thank them publicly. And at this time, um, you know, these are our warriors on the city council, both the council president and council member Moreno. You will not find stronger advocates for the communities that we represent. And it really has been an honor to serve with both of them. Um, and council member Moreno, um, yeah, don't, don't mess with her. <laughs> She's a fighter um, for what is right. So I'd like to introduce her at this time. Good morning, I'm trying not to sink here. <laughs> um, so I'm happy to be here and I'm happy to join my colleagues on this very special occasion in announcing the micro grant funding awarded to these local nonprofits. Um, thank you, Cal Coast. Thank you so much for your partnership with the city of San Diego and for your commitment to supporting our Promise Zone partners. Um, I, I personally would like to congratulate Logan Heights Community Development Corporation, which is a key partner of the San Diego Promise Zone, proudly located in my district, District 8. Uh, Logan Heights CDC offers residents of my district financial education and coaching, workforce placement and advancement, and income support ranging from tax preparation to accessing benefits. Uh, my office has partnered with Logan Heights CDC on many events, uh, promoting community resources, including offering uh, rental assistance and financial aid to families and small business impacted by the COVID pandemic. Um, I also want to congratulate Leah's Pantry in partnership with the Barrio Botany School-based Neighborhood Gardens. Uh, the mission of the Barrio Botany program is to provide innovative school garden-based learning opportunities. Um, these fundings uh, will help uh, Barrio Botany um, and six San Diego Promise Zone school gardens that serve as outdoor learning laboratories for students and as hubs for catalyst uh, for backyard gardening in their surrounding neighborhoods. Now, as the chair of the City Council's Land Use and Housing Committee, I'm pleased to see that one of the projects being funded will be uh, will provide uh, access to a no cost home repair to households in the Promise Zone under the partnership with uh, San Diego Habitat for Humanity. So overall, this is a great example of what meaningful public private partnership can look like. And I look forward to exploring how to provide our communities with additional opportunities for financial literacy education and no cost baking services as a way of um, bringing intergenerational wealth to our underserved communities. Um, I also want to take a moment to thank our economic development um, uh, department in the city of San Diego. Thank you for the work that you guys are doing and uh, for thinking innovatively. Uh, Zio, I see you back there. Thank you guys. We really appreciate this. Um, and now I have the and, and thank you, Miss Moss, for hosting us. It, it will not be my uh, this is my first time here, but I hear the barbecue spot here is it, it's a must. So I definitely will be uh, back in the neighborhood and I'll make sure to stop by the garden. And so with that, um, I have the pleasure of introducing California Coast Credit Union Chief Executive Officer uh, Todd Lane to the lectern. Thank you. Thank you, and um, what a beautiful day, and what a beautiful garden we have here. You know, we were talking earlier um, before the, the press conference here about the importance of having nutrient-dense food and water in, in all of our communities. It's so important. It, it's just very critical to our health, and so we love the, the work you're doing here. So, so thank you very much. Um, we are very pleased to be here today. You know, California Coast Credit Union shares your goals of providing 
comprehensive support to the 80,000 residents and businesses that reside in the Promise Zone. And by the way, you mentioned Bowlegged Barbecue right next door here. They are actually a member of California Coast Credit Union. They do their banking there. And we're so happy that um, we're actually going to visit them right after uh, the, the meeting here today. Um, California Coast does have a long-standing partnership with the City of San Diego. We're very proud of the work that we do with the City of San Diego. We're providing uh, financial literacy and wellness to city employees and their families and partnering with the city on many of its programs and events that make San Diego such a great place to live, uh, work, and play. And of course, we're here today for another very important partnership uh, initiative and that is um, on this very ground at Mount Hope Community Garden and other locations throughout the San Diego Promise Zone. Cal Coast Credit Union is committed to providing $120,000 in micro grants to nonprofits working in the Promise Zone to address the challenges related to jobs, education, uh, economic activity, and promoting healthy communities. This is an example, as we heard before, of public and private partnerships. Um, and we thank the City of San Diego, the San Diego City Council, and all of our partners uh, here today. Cal Coast is honored to support Project New Village and specifically their efforts to expand access to healthy food in the Promise Zone with a mobile farmer's market and a community food hub. To support these efforts, I am proud to provide, and this is the the great part of this, I'm proud to provide uh, Project New Village with this check for $13,650. Um, in addition to the six organizations already mentioned in previous remarks, I'd like to also congratulate the San Diego Parks Foundation, San Diego Co-Harvest Foundation, Leo's Pantry for receiving micro grants from uh, California Coast. I'd like to add that Cal Coast will continue its support of families, nonprofits, and businesses and schools in the Promise Zone, not just with financial support, but with boots on the ground. Cal Coast walks the talk. It's what we do. It's, it's who we are. It's our DNA. And we encourage others to join us in the years ahead. Thank you. And now I'd like to introduce Diane Moss, our host today and managing director of Project New Village. So good morning and welcome to the Mount Hope Community Garden. I'm very proud to be amongst these partners of the Promise Zone that received this micro grant. I know all of them, they do wonderful work. We at here at Project New Village have uh, started this work of trying to integrate urban agriculture, elevate, lift it up as a means to do community revitalization in our neighborhoods. We've worked here at the Mount Hope Community Garden to grow food, to sell food, to have educational workshops and community events here so that we can again improve the food system in our system, in our, in our area. We thank the partnership here for allowing us to increase our capacity to raise the capital for the next steps of our journey. Clearly we want to take what we do here at Mount Hope, elevate this and attach it to this mobile farmers market that we will launch in a few months. Uh, but what we're doing is making that available in three of the spots within the Promise Zone. So we are very grateful for this partnership and we want to thank uh, California Coast. We want to thank the city council members and we want to thank the city of San Diego for allowing us to be a part of this partnership. Thank you. Well, thank you again to our speakers and to those that could join us today. That concludes this morning's event, and we're happy to conduct any interviews with the media as needed. Thank you.